have here? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Born here, live here, die here. Childhood memories. Hopping buildings, running away from badges. Iron taste of blood from a split lip. Motherfucker. Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. Get the fuck out of Vista. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger tubers. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? We have arrived. The Major. Ready to get your cherry bobbed? Yeah, come on! My childhood, let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. <laughs> oh, and uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. We nomads choose who to make our family. A choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Miss this, you know? Camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in that city. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. I have those reports you asked for. They were supposed to be ready yesterday. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. The world's never going to find out. If I go down, you're going down with me! No! I'm not fucking joking! This isn't a request, V. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. If you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. What's the rules, Jack? Wanna be top? Gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. The borough Arasaka is. And you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. things work in Night City. The stronger survive, but that's how things stand. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Then Z ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Think maelstrom never forgets? Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 
6th Street. Why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. <laughs> shot! 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 Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0. Their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker star! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband's new Westbrook. Very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something! Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Tiger claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang group now, huh? Us mocks just have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mocks? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads, wrapped in shiv, corporations, and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside world? This family will go to hell and back. Everyone in this city lives in their own bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. job for you. A client of mine is making an arms deal. He needs protection. It could get hot. Very hot. The gun dealers are Maelstrom. Alas, nothing ever transpires as planned with them. You better gear up for this.
Sovi, are you willing? Yeah, I'm in. Cyberpunk 2077, John Rand. I've had the opportunity to do voiceover a few times. I'd worked on a cartoon. I had done some documentaries. I'd never done this much. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. You know, and got to play a character in so many kind of different ways because of different paths or threads or choices. So you almost get to play one moment, say you have a decision, would you take a bullet for it? With three different behavioral attitudes. So that was fun. You know, he's uh, Johnny's either a dick or he's happy or he's trying to convince. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. So it's been fun, and that was kind of what I was interested in, you know, the different options that the game could play, you know, playing the same person, but with different versions of them. Motion capture, baby. Johnny Silverhand. Uh, so one of the first elements that I was involved in with the game was motion capture. I've done a, a fair bit of motion capture. I did it with uh, in the Matrix films, so to start doing a motion capture for Johnny. It was all very familiar to me. The only difference, I think, technologically, was how close they were going to real-time review. But creatively, it was very familiar in the sense of starting a, a library of, of gesture and the toolbox, let's say, for the animators to work with for the character. So you get to see Johnny as the rock star, you know, you hear about his military past, you know, and he's fighting for his survival. Yeah. So he's kind of got all of these things leading into the moment of this guy. It's really a kind of an interpretation, because I think there's a Johnny Silverhand in all of us. He's got a lot of energy. He's got a good sense of humor, if not a little dark at times. He's very passionate, he cares, you know, it's, um, He's kind of naive, but he's also super experienced in life. He's got certainly an appetite for life. Oh, man. No, you're wrong. He wants to change the world, you know? But he has a cause that he wants to fight against the corpocracy. Come on, don't tell me you're not interested. He's kind of looking for a different kind of freedom. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots. And now they're after our souls. At least I believed in something bigger. At least I had a cause. What CD Projekt Red has shared with me in the way that they talk about the game and what I've seen is that it's got a, a lot of freedom. There's so many different paths that you can play the game on. But it's not just quests of paths. It's like, who are you? How do you want to play the character? If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. You can go into action, you can go into mystery, you can problem solve in different ways. And where you go in this world, there's so much detail. There's so many different things that you can go off into that are really interesting um, and fun. There's a real drama to the game and emotional stakes to it. And then there's lighter sides to it. And of course, the music, production design, technologically, how cutting edge it is. I don't think there'll be a game that looks like this. Yeah, it's intense. I take the driver, you get his side too. Bye-bye. <laughs> 